Hey everyone, it's Joe Isaias here from The Automator, and we noticed Luxicos was releasing a new update, 2.0.3 for V2, and I looked at it, I didn't see anything exciting. Isaias, of course, was a little closer paying attention to it, so he wanted to give a shout out on a couple of these points here. Yeah, so even though, the, so what uh, Luxicos has been doing is just fixing bugs. For now, he's not doing any new updates, like adding new functionality to auto hotkey. That is going to happen at some other point. But uh, for now, he's just fixing a lot of little bugs. Even though there's a big list, and you can see here that there's a list of, I don't know, 20 more or less. The Most of them are not really, they don't stand out that much. But some of them, there's like five of them that fix critical crashing. So there was a lot of situations like if you were using the file set attribute function inside a loop that was reading a file, it would actually crash the whole program. That was something that, of course, if you're dealing with file reading loops and at some point you do this, then you would have a lot of issues and there were no good workarounds. Uh, others were like, for example, um, if you were adding a property to a class that had the letter S in it, and that property had some parameters, it would have problems. It would actually say, it would give you an error. Even if everything else works, you could do exactly the same code with some properties that didn't start with the letter S for whatever reason that was a thing. And other uh, rashes, like for example, if you were trying, if you had a class you had a property and you were trying to unset that property for whatever reason, it would crash out of hotkey as well. So those kind of things were very annoying. They, they usually constitute also a security problem because a lot of hacking involves crashing the program and trying to write to the memory that that program had. So fixing those kind of things are very good for us. Um, there are some other minor things, like for example, if you're dealing with GUIs and you have two controls that have the same variable name, there was some um, um, ambiguous situation going on in which the two controls were created, but only one of them was accessible. So he actually fixed that. And with the date and time month calendar, if you had a range, it was never applying the minimum option. So your 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 date was always going to the left, even if you had a minimum there. Those kind of little details, again, not everybody are going to be affected by them. But once you were affected by it, it was really annoying because you didn't have any other ways of, uh, not many workarounds were available. So in this case, I hope that now uh, you will you will actually be able to use our hotkey with the things that you were doing. But again, Lexicos is just focusing on fixing bugs, not adding new functionality, which is the reason, Joe, maybe why you are not finding anything exciting because the exciting things is when you have new features. Oh, you can do this new thing. You can do that new thing. But if it is just fixing bugs, yeah, if I have never been hit by that bug, then yeah, who cares? Yeah, if you click oh. the button, it didn't become the default. Yeah, who cares? I, I have, as a general rule, always stayed away from starting this things with an S. So, you know, it didn't affect me. I'm kidding. Yeah. That's just <laughs> like, how do you, it's a, it's a crazy bug. How do you yeah. troubleshoot that? Right. And like, yeah, how do you, even, that, like, well, and, that, and that was the other thing. So you, it was so easy to, to kind of like see it. You had a test and you have a property called, you know, start with a parameter. Right. My param. Right. So it was the param here. And it would return anything, message box, true, something like that. And just because the parameter started with the letter S, then it broke. It was so stupid. It was so weird. Um, and then when we started debugging it, uh, the guy that was actually doing that, he found out that just with the letter S by itself, you had that issue. It was not working. So it was a very weird <laughs> bug. And most of those bugs, how do you find them? Yeah. Mercy. Yeah. It's, it's just by luck. <laughs> so if uh, if you're not using V2 yet, we highly recommend you do. V1's been deprecated. And even though it's, it's I, mean, I know he'll still get around to patching bugs, but he's not 
adding anything new to it, right? So we have a good course. If you've been using Auto Hockey for a while, our V1 to V2 transition course is ACES put a lot of really good stuff in there to help you not beat your head against the wall because there are differences. They're not compatible, right? And if you're totally new to auto hockey, start with V2, should go through our intro to V2 course because it's yeah. a great course at getting you going and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. So please like the video if you learned something or it helps you out, it really helps us. And we release videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're the largest auto hockey channel out there. We do this for a living. We really know auto hockey and automation stuff well. So if you need help. Our hero program is great. If you're trying to learn stuff, it's a, we have weekly calls three hours a week where we have live calls, helping people with their code, with their problems, solving them for them and coming up with, uh, you know, better approaches for things. And just seeing what other people are doing with it is really is what most of the heroes mentioned. Um, we also have a live telegram group during the week. You can interact and ask questions there and, and we answer questions, but seeing what other people are doing with auto hotkey is one of the most inspirational things of people realizing just how much more they could do than what they're currently doing. So. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye.